All right, I've got everything set up to do a quick demonstration. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to cut a 1 8 inch piece of acrylic. I've got yellow, red, and green transparent colored acrylic that I'm going to be use for, using for filters to prove a point and to use the scientific method to get some empirical data to prove that point. But first, let's cut this piece. Now, what I've done here is I've aligned everything up. I've got a damp cloth here. I just washed all the parts. I've got a damp cloth here and I've got a dry cloth here so I can hold this down into position and it won't shift. The damp cloth keeps the part from shifting on the counter and then this dry cloth keeps the part from shifting between the two pieces top and bottom. Now, all I'm going to do is use a utility knife my husky utility knife and this is all it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten as you see I brought it right up to the edge of the counter just barely over it so I didn't cut into the counter now all I got to do is turn it around and snap that piece loose and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there you go. Quick clean cut. Now I can use this as a filter to prove in an experiment what I've said online about tenting the nacelle domes for the original series Enterprise. More to come. And here we have Admiral Quark's bargain basement finds. Yes, I got this cheap, really cheap, 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 with cheap shipping. But this kit sells for up to $39. To fifty dollars, cannot believe that people actually pay this. I got a really, really good deal on this. Really good, and it's the Back to the Future Part Three, Mark Three, Time Machine. Back to the Future. <laughs> it's got the metalized body kind of got the wrong color it's got kind of a yellowish brownish hue to it so I don't know what to do about that but I'm not gonna worry about it I got it cheap I got it cheap I got the full complete kit even though the box had been opened I bought the kit for like next to nothing nine ten dollars I'm not sure but really cheap I will double check on that Cheapo cheap, everything, all the parts, still in the plastic. Look at that. Brand spanking new kit. Nobody else bid on it because it had been opened. And I contacted the guy and asked him. I says, you know, are there any parts missing? Is everything there? He says, look, I just opened it to peek in the box. I haven't done anything with it. So I got a $40, $50, $60 model. You include shipping. For, I don't know, maybe $19, 20 bucks. That's why I'm always looking on eBay for the cheap deals. And as soon as I see a cheap deal, I'm on it. You hear me? No sense in spending 50 bucks on a friggin' 124 scale automobile kit. I mean, come on, really? Just because it's Back to the Future, it's a niche kit, niche kit, niche kit, whatever. I'm not gonna pay 40, 50 bucks. Not gonna happen. So, I got that overpriced model. Cheap, cheap, and cheap. Everything's there. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's have a look at the lighted S-curve hemispheres. <laughs> These are the S-curves on the back of the 350 original series nacelles. And what I've done is, I made a mold, obviously cast the parts in clear, shot them with a coat of flat white, a light coat of flat white, then shot them with a couple of coats of pearl. 
After that, I drilled in through the back just deep enough to set a small LED, super bright white LED, and I epoxied those LEDs into place, and now you see they are lit. So they're going to light up when you turn the lights on. This is for a client build. I've got my little temporary power supply there. I always thought these would look good lit up. I really did. I always thought they were lit when I saw them on screen. They had that pearlescent sheen to them. So that's what I did. And there you go. Simple procedure. Boom, boom. One, two, three. And another new lighting show. <laughs> now I'm showing this because this became really popular on a couple of Facebook websites that I show my modeling work on. So I wanted to make sure to include this in this video. Keep on trekking. More to come as always. Alrighty then. I wanted to show this. Uh, what I've got here is a bunch of small diameter uh, amber LEDs approximately the same color as what you see on the nacelle domes of the original series Enterprise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to simulate the fan blade effect with these LEDs. Now there are 12 fan blades inside each dome and there are 10 LEDs inside the dome as well of different colors. So what I'm going to attempt to do is perfectly simulate first the rotation effect and then the pseudo random effect of the different colored LEDs firing inside the domes. But I'm not going to show this video until I have everything laid out on a board to test it and then later I'll put that into, well I'm going to put it on a breadboard and test it, show that then solder it into a circular circuit board and show that. Now I've been, I worked on this some time ago, but I'm finally getting to the point where I'm just going to sit down and do it. So we shall see coming up how this turns out. And there it is. This is where the uh, two dials and the button go. I'm going to go over this with the orbital sander, clean it up, square it up. There we are. Boom, boom. Another part. Paper to prop, baby. Paper to prop. <laughs> okay, I've just laid everything out to start cutting pieces. I've shown this once before in a previous movie, so I'm not going to show any more on that. I'm going to go ahead and cut off some two-foot sections and then cut those into two foot by two foot sections and then I'm gonna have to start wrapping up because I am definitely losing sunlight alright so I just cut off a huge two foot by four foot section I'm gonna go ahead and section this but this is all I'm gonna do when it comes to video tonight alright let's have a look at the International Rescue Thunderbirds Rescue Set from Imai I guess I don't know I had no idea anything about this model at all nothing I didn't know if it was accurate what size it was I looked online tried to get some information so essentially I'm doing this video for anyone that might think about buying this in the future it is small SM all small I got it cheap thank goodness it is small really small Tiny, teeny tiny, see, that big. Okay, small. I don't think it's at all the least bit accurate. The windows are not accurate. I'm sure of that. It's got a little carrier vehicle. I never really did get into the Thunderbirds, not at all. Even when I was young, at six years old, I was watching Star Trek. Not goofy marionettes. Never did care for the marionette crap. I just, I thought it was horrible. It was laughable. I guess that's because I was given a marionette by my stepfather when I was really, really little. And it was his father's, so it was an old antique 
marionette. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm looking at the directions. It looks like at one point this was more of a toy than the actual model kit. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a model. In fact, I'm going to cut it up, kit bash it, and turn it into the Planet Express from Futurama. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll make it a Futurama-esque carrier vehicle. Anyway, there is the model. As small and in inaccurate as it is. I'm going to go ahead and open up the bags and have a look at all the parts real quick. I will show you, and then this will be over. And here it is. This is it. These are all the parts. So, yeah, it's a really simple, very, very small, inaccurate kit. That's what it is. Now, I'm going to have to glue all the parts together, I can see. And then I'm going to have to go at it with a hacksaw and a Dremel and start cutting and shaping and putting and priming. I'm going to come up with a pattern for the windshield so it's right for the future. I'm a Planet Express. And I'll kit bash the rest of it into something else or just throw it into a parts bin for Greeblies. There you are. That's the kit. Very small, inaccurate Thunderbirds kit about marionettes. Yep. <laughs>